Hello, my name is Louise Poiré. I live in Ashland, Oregon, and I was born and raised in this valley. I grew up swimming in the Applegate River, uh, seeing sometimes fires in the mountains behind our farm. And so tonight I'm really grateful for the opportunity to be able to be with you in a sense of companionship, uh, to hold each other for these few moments with some song, some words, but mostly to be together with a presence of love. A love that, the kind of love that we discover and feel when we're in, when we're in experiences of heartbreak and loss. And I want to offer this tonight because this came to me as I was driving across the Open Bay Bridge when I was a student in San Francisco. And tonight the words mean something very different to me. Um, it, for me tonight it holds the energy of, of the worlds that we're moving between. The worlds of the time before the fires, the time that we're in now, and the time that we together are unfolding and ushering in through our love for each other and our care for each other. Moving, moving, moving between the world. Moving, moving, moving between the world. She brings forth all things from within her body. She brings forth all things from within her body. Moving, moving, moving between the world. Moving, moving, moving between the world. He brings forth all things from within his body. He brings forth all things from within his body. Moving, moving, moving between the world. Moving, moving, moving between the worlds. We bring forth all things from within our bodies. Oh, yes, we do. We bring forth all things from within our bodies. Shortly after the fires, when Highway 99 was opened, my sister and I drove from Ashland to, Fe to Talent and to Phoenix. And together we drove as witnesses to see with our own eyes, to feel in our own bodies, the acres of ash, the trees that were twisted by the fire, the molten metal that formed just interesting patterns from cars where it had been melted. And when I drove that highway, which I've driven so many times, I felt my heart change. I felt my body change. I felt my grief wash over me. And in that moment, I knew that I was from this land in a much different way that I was born and raised here. I felt the power of the trees and the land in her suffering. And then I thought of some words from a very, very ancient poem written thousands of years ago, actually, and passed on from one group of women to another. And it says this, and I offer this as a gift of strength for all of us, whether we are men or women or children. And the words are, those warrior women, men and children, like a single thread, come forth from beyond the river. They do common work in devotion to you whose hands sear them with purifying fire. Your many devoted who will be burnt like sun-scorched firebricks pass before your eyes. You are splendid. 
No one can walk before you. You alone are sublime. We praise your name. Those words spoke to me in a new way. It came from an ancient Sumerian poem that was written during a time of tremendous upheaval in the land of Sumer. People were devastated by the changes that were taking place in their culture. They were struggling with their faith. They were struggling with deep world changes. And in these days and this time, that image of all of us being like sun-scorched bricks that have come from the river and that now we're engaged in doing this common work of sifting through the fire, helping each other find new homes, helping each other find new places in ourselves of strength and courage that perhaps we never knew we had. I hear and see and feel all of that action as the actions of our healing. As together we continue to move between these worlds, never alone, sometimes feeling abandoned, maybe feeling like we can't ever take steps in the way we did before. But then we are reminded by the music we hear tonight, by the presence of so many people sending out so much love, that we are part of a deeply interconnected web of all being. And that gives us the strength to move between the worlds together.